A good afternoon, good morning, and good night to my viewers. How is it going? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas mission walkthrough. This is the fourth video of the stealing car strand that was in GTA San Andreas that you unlock after completing a few different requirements. This is the final mission in which CJ gains another asset. And it's actually a relatively easy mission to pass if you don't let things frustrate you. And by frustrate you, well, I'll let the mission start and let Caesar explain. Hey man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on a shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she dressed like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop a crazy bitch tires and bang a crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity. You know what? I think I got an idea. As Cesar explained, um, this woman is a crazy driver and he can't get her to pull over. They don't want to wreck the vehicle. So now they're using a modified piece of junk hoopty with three stingers available for, for CJ to hunt down this woman and puncture the car tires. And this mission can be frustrating, but I'm going to explain right now. The best way to do it is to naturally get in front of her, but not too far in front of her to where the stingers can be effective. And if you drop all three stingers and you don't puncture her tires, you're out of luck and you got to start all over again. Now, the easiest way again to do this is to get in front of her. And you want her almost right on top of you to where you can deploy the stingers. And it's usually she will get right up to you, tailgate you, and you can see it in the back area, and you just drop your stingers and puncture the tires, and you succeed. Now I'm going to try and get around her right now and see if I can drop the stingers, which I'm going to, and nope, she was getting around me. So now I have to get in front of her, and you'll see the way she drives is she will come up around you, and now I'm going to try and get in front of her here, like right now, and drop the stingers, and boom, they work, and now to get the car. Hey, CJ, how's it going with that crazy bitch, eh? Popped her, just about to fix the tire. Should be back any minute. Okay, careful with that puncture repair shit. Nasty stuff. Will do. Later, man. Sadly, they don't show man, CJ fixing the tires. Disgusting. For some reason, it got oh, blacked shit. out. I don't All know. It's the same in every game I've played. So now CJ has to get the car back to the garage. I'm going to fast forward through the drive and just get to the garage. Wang Cars becomes an asset and starts building up money. And this is good for CJ. You can get extra money. It's kind of like Zero's shop. Once 
you go back there and you can collect the money. I'm going to take a walk over after I save and show you Wang Automotive and what it looks like. Um, it's not really that that elaborate, so I'm going to run CJ over here and take a tour of one of his assets, which, to be honest with you, hey, it's money. It accumulates, and you can collect it, just like the other assets CJ should be gathering now. And if you walk into the showroom, you got some pretty bland-looking cars. Why CJ would steal these? There's that station wagon. He punctured the tires. There's the other um, cars he stole. Yeah, they're not really worth stealing, in my opinion, and going to prison and getting arrested. But, hey, it is what it is. It's part of the game. And it's not a bad place. It's money in the bank. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, reminding you if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you like these types of videos, well, hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing. And all that, all that will happen is your channel or your home page will get my stuff popping up in it you can watch at your leisure watch wherever you want whenever you want again subscribing costs you nothing as always thanks for stopping by